drawn to his 80-pound slab of marble. Yeah. Let's take that in for a second. It may be the most elaborate setup, but it won't be the most risque costume. David Naylor would also like you to know that he has not one, not two, but 128 world record titles. Which he finds, quote, sort of interesting. <laughs> But also, I like whatever this is. Under 29 tonight? I mean... Do you hold a world record in whatever this is? Because tonight might be your night, too. Oh, is, oh, is that your slab, sir? Oh. Did you feel that? Did you see that? Okay, David Naylor. in your hallway bound struggling. Okay. So there's like four or five differences from what you normally see on stage. Number one, doesn't matter if I drop. Because in setting a world record, it's not making sure I'm perfect. It's actually trying to get the best possible thing I can get out, which is pretty different. So I have a bag here with 24 balls in it. This is audience participation. If they go your way, please catch them. Put them up on the front here. Um, because I'm going to try things that are really hard, and I don't have my normal warm-up. Okay. A different, another, another interesting thing. This is this. A, oh, it's interesting. It bounces really well off the slab, but the entire stage, including me, is going up and down. Um, so this is force bouncing. This is what I like to do, as opposed to maybe you've seen this kind of lift bouncing. It's a lot slower. So lift bouncing is different from toss juggling, and I don't know how many people realize this, even if you're jugglers. Force bouncing has exactly the same rhythm. There's no variation in height. So you can't fix a pattern by simply throwing it higher or lower. It actually makes force bounce juggling harder than toss juggling. So seven ball pattern in this is about an eight and a half, nine ball pattern in the toss pattern. That's why it's pretty rare to see a seven ball force bounce pattern on, on stage. Okay, that's enough for the lecture. <laughs> now, I usually warm up with this pattern. Uh, we have we have a world class roller bowler acting in the audience. And this this mount freaks her out. <laughs> she says, "Don't mount like this, man. You could get hurt." You should be in balance when you go up on the thing, not kind of figure it out. <laughs> Watch her squirm. Why is your board so skinny? That doesn't make any sense. That's like, really, why don't you give yourself some space so you don't come off the thing? Well, the answer is because I'm really trying to control the accuracy of my pattern. So I had to train myself to be in the middle. Otherwise, I'm not here. I'm off on the side. You can see I'm scared. <laughs> you can do it. This is my warm up. Let's do another hour of this. <laughs> Incidentally, the world record for that is 31 minutes and 20 seconds. Is it yours? Yeah, it's my record. <laughs> and I call this. Um, this is what I would call a lateral roll of ball of balance. So this is sort of the roll of ball of balance that we're all sort of used to. That's another one. Where's your helmet? <laughs> <laughs> I have a helmet. Yeah, this actually.
actually won't stop me. This just tells me where I am. It's the stage. That's me. That's my part. That's not me. <laughs> shakes. It's way more shake than I'm used to. <laughs> Thank you. That's your contribution. <laughs> yeah. You got this. Just relax. I'm just going to go down into the middle. trying to set a record in the, in the safety of your own hallway and being up on stage, which is... Or 
So it's in two separate That's better than last year. <laughs> and uh, um, so um, I, I happen to hold a seven ball force pounce record for this. So you can actually get seven balls going on this if you warm up properly and you're rested enough and everything else. And I set the five ball record last, also about eight, ten days ago, at a over a minute, a minute and fifteen seconds, five balls in this pattern with this balance. I'm still surprised. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.